Seattle, Washington, North Carolina. North Carolina. Atlanta, Georgia. Charlotte, North Carolina. Columbus, Ohio. Houston, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. Because we, we won't have time to see 500, 700 people in two days. So we kind of would have Yeah, so I see, I've seen everyone from day one. I don't know how many thousands, but, but trust me, wildebeest. Wildebeest, they keep coming. They just keep coming and coming. Um, we got here yesterday, kind of morning, afternoon-ish. Slept in tents all night. And then we're just out here trying to make our little moment to shine a little bit on, on Fox. So we're just here auditioning, get to do a freestyle, get to do some choreography, get to do everything. So we're ready to do it. Yeah, Since Sir mix a has been gone, you know, <laughs> everything's been gone. Seattle's gone. We have a lot of talent out here. We just wanted to showcase it. Really? We get overlooked because the grunge era ended in the 90s and now the dance era is coming. So. And it's always raining here. People say it's depressing here. It's not really depressing. It's not depressing at all. If you yeah. dance, it's not depressing. Yeah. Yeah. We live for this. We don't Action. care if we get paid a lot of money for it. We just do it because it's right here. We need to find somebody who's prepared to bring their personality. To, they're prepared to be honest. They're prepared to be charming. They've got stories and they're funny. And they have that certain something that's going to make them identify with the American public. Because that's essentially what we want. Even they could be the best dancers in the world, but if they have no charisma and no personality, nobody's going to get off the couch and pick up the phone and vote. You know, I'm sure we're trying to just jazz it up a little bit, whether we bring in new dance styles. Like last year, we brought a lot of cultural dancers back into town. We'll extend that this year and maybe try some other different styles of dance. And because we cast this, you know, we cast these people, we try and stretch them, so we will bring stuff in that maybe they can achieve. There's no point in bringing in stuff that they can't. We never do tap, because you can't learn tap dancing in five and a half hours. That's all they get. They get five and a half hours to learn their routine. So we, you know, we give them a chance and we give them a sense of result, otherwise we don't get any. So you think you can dance? <laughs>